In the wonderful city of Stickville, in its neighboring district, lived a teen boy named Frank McCry. On Friday days like this, Frank McCry is usually never late. It would only take a miracle for this to happen. After all, accidents are nothing but purpose. There's a reason for everything. Why you live, why you die, why you stand, why you fight. So, why was Frank McCry late for school at a peculiar time? Of course, it couldn't have been from fate nor destiny. It could, however, be from something more. Gods from above may not have chosen this action, even if fiction is to play. Because no matter what, your life could be a miracle. History's most devastating events of all time, and the one man responsible for creating such destruction and so much hatred was 
Frank McCry. Hey, Miss Grimm. I've already gotten a detention for, uh, making an unexpected entrance to the school by the principal. Did you at least bring a toddy slip? Uh, no. Next time, please do. What the heck happened to you? Oh, this. Consider it a new look. Yeah, well, it's not a pretty one. You look like a dirty cracked egg. What happened? You know, <laughs> let's just say I woke up late and I was approached by Travis. Do I need to kick his ass again? I don't even know why he mostly messes with you. Well, it may have something to do with me being the weakest amongst many of the school. That, my friend, just proves how pathetic he is. <laughs> yeah, still kind of sucks him and I got detention by Mrs. Elwick. But hey, maybe that could be your chance to stand up against him. <laughs> You're kidding. I'll be on the ground quicker than a heartbeat. I promise you, Sally, the day I show up to detention shall be the day I get knocked out. Whatever you say, Frank. Whatever you say. What's up, brother? Noogie, noogie, noogie. Ah, stop! Kinda sucks to be bald, you know? Right. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so, how was school? Uh, I'll talk about it later. Hmm, I see. Oh, did you meet our new neighbor? Uh, I don't think I did. Neither have I. So, how about you and I go check him out? Hey, your neighbor. Hmm? Sorry if we, uh, scared you, but we just wanted to greet our newcomers to the city. Nothing more. Oh, I see. Well, the name's Gabriel. Gabriel Garrison. But you may call me Gabe. Pleasure to meet you, Gabe. I'm Tom McCry. This is my brother, Frank. Well then, nice to meet you all. Excuse all the boxes all around and stuff. My son and I have been unpacking. Oh, speaking of... Hey, Ralph! Come here for a sec. Uh, okay. This here is my son, Ralph. He's shy, but he ain't nothing to laugh at. Taught him a lot about inventing, so he should be looking forward to being an engineer sometime in the future. Ah, so you're an inventor, I see. Why, of course. I work at Opal Tech and have multiple prototypes waiting to be shown to the public. Hey, um, Ralph, right? You okay? You don't appear to be the happiest. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm fine. Just not exactly a pleasure to meet new people. Nothing wrong with you or anything, just had a lot of people... Er... Never mind. We can talk later. If you want to, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, sure thing. I guess you're going to Stickville High School then? Um... Yeah. Oh, cool. We can talk there if you want next week. Y yeah. Right. Cool. Well, as much as I want to make you ramble about your life and stuff, I believe Frank and I shouldn't really interrupt your unpacking. Come on, Frank. Well, uh, see you, Ralph. Here. You too. Hey, Frank. Can I come in? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, sorry if I woke you, but I got a few things to let you know on. What is it? Well, let's just say mom and dad have started working night shifts, so they'll be home more often. And, uh, I kind of told mom about your detention. She's a little pissed. A little pissed? Okay, maybe very pissed. And, let me guess, that Travis kid got you in trouble. Yeah. Do I need to kick his ass again? No. <sighs> Look, I know those kids at your school don't treat you well just because you ain't got a clue what you want to do in life. It's because all I ever want to do just causes everyone to make fun of me. Like, someday, I want to be a zookeeper. They call me a shit picker. Someday, I want to be an engineer. They call me a nerd. 
It's just... I don't even know if I'm capable of anything. Tom... Whoa, hey, don't say things like that. Ignore what they call you. Ignore what they think of you. Hell, ignore them. They're just jealous of your potential. I've seen the types of projects you've done, and they're unlike anything I've seen. You have capability. You just haven't found it yourself yet. And I want you to remember something, Frank. No matter who you are, you're destined to make an impact. Because that's just how fate works in our lives. What even is my fate? That's something for you to find out. As long as you make the best decisions, you'll be alright. You should probably go to sleep. Got quite the day tomorrow, huh? Here we are. All right. Oh, one more thing, Frank. Look, um, if that Travis kid messes with you again, just stand up for yourself for once. I know you're not exactly the bravest dog in the herd, man, I, I, but I'm not telling you to fight him. Just if he lays a finger on you, don't let him take advantage. All right. All right then. See you at the detention, brother. Hello, Frank McCry. Travis. Hey, I'm Mrs. Elick. Bet you missed me, huh? Ah, right. Sorry. All right. Listen, you two. You both have two reasons why you're here in this detention room right now. Frank, you're here for skateboarding through the doors and into the halls at high speeds and being five minutes tardy. And Travis, you're here for chasing Frank, being 15 minutes tardy and making out with one of the cheerleaders on the bus way home. Well... Gotta do what you gotta do when you have urges. Travis, if I had a dollar for every urge you have, we would actually afford enough to go to an away game. <sighs> Here's the deal. I'm not really feeling the happiest this morning and I don't want to spend the Saturday watching you two. So if you guys can stay silent for the next two hours, no talking, no falling asleep, I'll let you out early. Principal Elwick, terrible news. The coffee maker is broken. Not the coffee maker. Ugh, remember what I said. No talking, no sleeping. You get out early, I gotta go. Heh <laughs> thought I'd never see someone like you in here, McCry. Oh, come on. You're not really gonna not talk for two damn hours, are you? Travis... I really don't want to be here right now. Just shut up already. Yeesh. Wasn't even my fault. Yeah, well, it kind of was your fault, actually. You know, you and your group of brutes tried to jump me while I was trying to get to school yesterday. It was all dumb fun, jackass. Do you honestly think I could resist messing with you? Take a joke for once. Jokes are meant to be funny, not harmful. You know what? Whoa, whoa, hang on, Travis. What are you? Want to get harmful, then? Fine, I'll make this slow and painful for you. False alarm, the coffee machine wasn't... Hey! Uh, hi? Travis, my office, now. Frank, stay here. Mm. I'll be with you in a moment. <sighs> Sorry about that, Frank. Listen. I know everything you did was an accident. I was just skeptical. You're a good kid, and I shouldn't have underestimated you. I'm sorry. You're free to go. 
it's okay. Thank you, Miss Elwick. What the? Oh, oh crap! Sir? Sir? Are you awake, sir? Your pulse is still beating. I need to check uh. if you're okay. Wait, what? what? A meteorite had crashed near you, and you seem to be the only one affected by it. Are you harmed at all? Not really. Are you sure? We can take you to a hospital if you would like. No thanks, I'll, I'll be alright. I've been calling you for hours. Where have you been? Sorry, I'll respond next time. You know, I, I've been worried sick about you, Frank. There was an explosion earlier and I- Ugh, jeez, why does my head hurt really bad? Was that meteorite? If so, wouldn't my body hurt too? Why just my mind? Why can't I see colors of green? Whoa, whoa, whoa what is what this? Is Am I okay? Is this okay? I feel strange. This feels strange. Hello? Sally? Frank? Yo, how was the tension for you? <laughs> Listen, we need to meet up at Gary's. There's something weird going on. Oh. Well, all right then. Hey, glad to see you here, Sally. Got quite a bit on my table right now. No problem. Anytime. So, what's up? Uh, well, um, you know that explosion that happened earlier today, right? You know, with the meteorite? Oh my gosh, yeah! I freaking felt that, man! I mean, dang! We're kind of lucky it just hit the fields and not the city. <laughs> Well, let's just say it kind of hit- uh. Frank? You alright? Yeah, nothing but brain pains, you know, perfectly a-okay- ah. oh. Whoa, hey, what's wrong? My head, oh, it hurts. What is going on? Everything feels hot. Should I even tell her? I should tell her, tell her, tell her. I... I have to go. I'm sorry for wasting your time. What happened back there? Did I just melt part of the table with my own hands? That meteorite did something to me. I know it did. And why are they glowing? I feel like I should tell Sally, or anyone for that case, but... I don't think I'm comfortable by the idea. Listen, sir. I'm telling you. I don't have anything. Don't you lie to me! I know you got something of value, so hand over the purse. Well, what if you don't find anything, then, huh? Don't think I'm not afraid to gut you like a fish. Besides, can't just let you run by to the police about this. So you're gonna just flat out kill me? What even am I gonna benefit for this? <laughs> As if your life is more important than my needs. Hey, let her go already! Huh? <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? Look, it doesn't matter who I am, just... Just let her go, please. You look pretty relunquent about this, kid. I really don't want to have to stab you. So why don't you just turn around and forget you ever saw this. As long as I make the best decisions, I'll be alright. 
What are you? Hey! Stay the hell back! So you're just gonna play hero now, huh? Well, tough luck, because I ain't playing around. What the hell? Huh? Oh! Whoa. Oh! You are dead, kid! Ah! Uh! What? Ah! Let go of my hand, you! Uh! There's something about me. It's changed. I know for sure something's different. That punch he gave me. It didn't feel like crap! Yeah, I didn't expect it, but... Is this guy weak? Who am I kidding? I'm, I'm weaker than a sloth! But somehow... But somehow it felt like I broke his wrist too. No! This is all too weird! The burn marks I made on the table, my ability to fight for some reason, my hands have green freaking fire! Did that meteorite give me powers? Nobody can know about this. Absolutely no one. I, I could be investigated about this. My family would even get involved. Even, even if this might be a chance to stand up for myself, this is something I feel like I just can't expose. Not to Sally, not to Mom, not to Dad, not even to Tom. And maybe, just maybe, if I want to put these powers to use, I'll have to make a different identity for myself. Even if my life will be at risk. Hello, Stickville. This is Sawyer Lin, and you are watching Stickville News Network. Today, we have just received breaking news just two days ago from authorities about a woman named Celia Justice, who is a victim of a mugging. The man responsible for the mugging went by Kenneth Linnison, a drug addict with a massive criminal record for mugging strangers and trading special goods in the black market. Fortunately, an unknown citizen came to the rescue and saved Miss Justice. However, based on her reports, this man had what is said to be green lasers that shot from his hand. Details of this man were very vague, since all that was given was that he had a very neutral face and he was bald. Pretty boring face traits, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, right, uh, sorry. From those who said you wanted about this man's identity and what he was capable of, no matter if you believe it or not, they all asked the same question. Who is this mysterious hero? I'll be at work. Think you can finish that wing suit when you get back from school? Uh, yeah. I'm just saying some special features to make it, um, special. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Keep at it, and you'll be an engineer in no time. <sighs> I'm not making this stupid like you, Dad. Uh, oh! Hey! Frank! It's you! Huh? Oh yeah, it's me. Hey, Ralph! <laughs> hey! So you've heard that guy on the news, right? Th there was someone two days ago who, who was saved a woman from a criminal. Uh, really? Huh. What else about him? Well, well he apparently had these g green lasers and a bald head. Well, there's plenty of bald people in the world, so it could be anyone, you know? Uh, either way, if it's really true, th then we can have some sort of superhero for the city. Superhero, huh? I think you've been reading too many comics, Ralph. But it could be true, though. I mean, all my life I... I, uh... Um... N never mind. What? It's nothing. Oh, come on. You said we talked the other day, didn't we? Uh, I mean... Yeah, but... Then just tell me what's up. Uh, who knows? Maybe I can help. Well, you say so. My dad is an engineer, and he's even about to be grown as the co-CEO of Opletech. Because of this... He wants me to be like him and join Obotech. The only thing is, I don't want that. We keep moving everywhere to different schools. Just so he can assign me different curriculums that's better suited for engineers. That's kind of messed up. Have you told him that you didn't want any of this? As if I had a choice in the matter. Any opinion I have to win against his just results in an argument. There's no point, so why bother? 
Well, just because he's your father doesn't mean he can control your life. I mean, I guess you're kind of right. Not only that, but uh, try not to let yourself be beaten up by someone that's got authority over you. Someone once told me to stand up for yourself, so. <laughs> I'm guessing your brother told you that? Eh, maybe. So if you're not wanting to be an engineer, what are you wanting to be then? Uh, oh, y you really don't want to know. Come on. <laughs> I'm serious. You'll be fine. I won't tell anyone if you tell me. I don't wanna. Pretty please? Fine. I'm wanting to be a superhero. That's not bad. You... You... Really think so? All the kids in my previous schools always made fun of me because of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's kinda a strange goal to have in life, but you're wanting to help people just for the sake of it, right? Y yeah Well then that just makes your goals more important than anyone else's. The world's kinda cruel, so you gotta do what you gotta do to help those in need. I... I guess you're right. Maybe I... Hey... Frank? What's that? What's what? That. Oh, that? It's just a metal latch that showed up a few months ago. I don't know why it's there, but it might be for governmental stuff. Yeah, but why near the neighborhood? Uh, Ralph, I, I don't think it's a great idea to go near it. Hang on. I just want to check it out. Whoa. Whoa. Come look at this, Frank. Ralph, I really think you shouldn't be opening that. Let's just go to school already. Well, I know, but I'm curious. All right, I think we have plenty of time. We're just gonna be there for like five minutes, then we're leaving. Got it? Got it. Oh, we're so gonna get in serious trouble. These walls are made from pure titanium. They really wanted no one to break in here, even though the person who designed this place had no security for the door. Then perhaps we shouldn't be here, you know? Uh, I know, but even if I don't want to be an engineer, I was always fascinated by the technology of tech always had. Maybe this could be a laboratory, or a hidden military base. Well, that's just proof we might get shot here. Huh. It's, uh, dark in here. <coughs> and dusty! <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Thomas J. Sly. Whoa! Thomas J. Slime? Uh, I guess that's the guy that owns this place. He's got a unique name, I gotta say. Just look at this place, Frank. It was a laboratory. Hey, Ralph, don't you think it's been about five minutes already? Well, guess we gotta go now. Ra- Uh, Ralph? This machine, it looks familiar. Of course, a while back, my dad tore me through his lab, and this machine was one of them. Well, could this Thomas guy work with your father? Yeah, but he wouldn't just offer his co-workers his machines. If anything, he's incredibly dedicated to anything he would make to the point where he's protected of it. Whoa. What, what is that? That rock! Is that a fragment from the meteorite? No. There's no way. Authorities must have taken it away by now. Wait, none of this is right. I don't think any military force from Stickville owned this lab. It's like Ralph has said, if this was Gabriel's machine, he wouldn't just hand it over. Then it's gotta be stolen, right? Frank! Uh, I have been calling for you several times. You are right? Ralph, we need to leave. Now. But Frank, I'm we... serious. I really have a bad feeling being here right now. Think about it. If your father want to give anyone his machines, then this has to be stolen. Well, I guess there was some third party that wanted to have his inventions. Frank! 
Frank, what do we do? Good question. What do we do? We can't try to hide, but who knows how long we'll do that for? We could run, but maybe he could easily catch us. Or maybe this guy probably stole stuff from Opal Tech and a fragment from that meteorite. I could just wait. What am I thinking? I should have just go and hurt this guy for stealing so we could just simply leave this place. Screw it. There's not much we could do here. Whoa! Hello? Anyone in here? Anybody wanting to take my machinery? Don't worry. If you are here, I won't tell anyone about your corpse. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Ah! No! Uh huh! An intruder! Wait a minute! You're just some kid! P please, let me go, sir! I won't bother you anymore! You know, you're just like my ex wife! You spill my spaghetti on the floor, and you think you get away with it! Get over here, kid! No, to be honest, I'm glad I've got company like you here. I can have you as a test subject for this machine I've been working on. But, but didn't you steal that from Obeltech? Well, when you put it like that, it makes it seem bad. But I'm just improving machines, you see. Wait a minute. How did you know this was from Opeltech? My father built this machine. Gabriel Garrison. Wait, wh why improve his machine? He's a great inventor, so there wouldn't be a any need. This is what I consider my latest invention. I may have never built it, but I produced and improved it with my special type of magic. And you dare ask why? Because your father, Garrison, never bothered using his own ideas. Instead, he decides to go and steal my ideas. Oh, so he can get the popularity he solely desires. So I have decided to steal his inventions for my own. So I can tear down the cruel, corrupt company that is Opaltech. Because they believe they can change the world, when in all reality, they make it crumble. And knowing you're his son, it makes up all the reason to have you here. You should feel grateful, really because you are more valuable to this lab than anything else. <laughs> so, I suppose you're thinking you're gonna get away with this, right? Uh, yeah? And who are you? My name? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't exactly come up with a name yet, so I'm probably gonna figure it out soon, I guess. Wait a minute. Where's Frank? Frank ran and went to the high school, but I'm here. Huh. Well then, bye bye ah, What the heck? <gasps> you must beat that bald superhero with the lasers. Ouch. Is that really going to be what I'm known for now? Hold still, you pestering swine! No worries, Dr. Slime. You're not a bad aimer. I'm just a bad target. <laughs> well now, anonymous intruder. I believe I can solve that. Oh, that's not fair. All's fair in smarts and machinery. And so, I'm curious, what exactly is that energy from your hands all about? I got a bigger question for you, Slime. Why is there a meteorite fragment in your machine? Oh! <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, yeah, that's why I asked. Yeesh, why don't people even say that? It doesn't even make sense. Hello there. It was fun knowing whoever you are. But it's time you finally die. Afterwards, I shall dissect and see into whatever that laser of yours you keep shooting. What laser? You mean this? 
All right, let's take this bad boy out. And just what do you think you're doing? You're giving me plenty of advantages, Slime. I appreciate it. You're starting to irritate me right now. Just die already. Ah, will you cut that out? This ought to end you. Be gone! All right, ciao. Hey, get back here. The laser will only aim once. It's going to hit my... All right, kid. Climb up the ladder and run to the school. And never come here again. Got it? Y yes, sir. I machine. My progression. You will pay for this. Don't think I didn't hear what your intentions were. I think you're the one who needed to pay the price. Someday, I will find out what you are. Well, maybe after prison. Because I'm calling the police about this. And by the way, I think I figured out a name for myself now. Call me Sticky Guy. Wow. That's a terrible name. <sighs> hey, Ralph. Frank. What? Where were you? I, uh... I escaped out the bunker to call for help, and I ended up seeing that, uh, superhero you mentioned earlier. Yes, I saw him. He was shooting laser at that scientist, the machines, everything. It was awesome. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, I mean, I just... I just kind of wish you d didn't leave me there. Hey, I'm really sorry about doing that to you, man. I'll tell you what. I'll introduce you to a childhood friend of mine I think you might like. Really? Yeah, really. Don't worry. She won't bite. Well, uh, maybe she will. I don't know. So, you must be that Ralph guy that Frank was talking about. Um, yeah. Sorry, he's just a little nervous to meet new people. Well, my name is Sally. Nice to meet you. And I gotta say, you're kinda like Frank in a way. Not that it's bad or anything. Well, maybe a little. But I don't want to offend you. Well, now I feel offended. Should I tell her why I don't like, you know, talking? Oh yeah, right. He got this whole thing about wanting to be a superhero. And he doesn't want to be made fun of. But I honestly don't think it's that bad. Ah! That's not what I meant! Superhero? Well, it's a unique goal, but I think you'll succeed at it. Of course, as long as you don't harm yourself or others. See? She likes it as well. Turns out your dream isn't as ridiculous as your daughter was gonna be. And Sally made fun of me for years. And I still do. Ouch. W well, I suppose since you guys appreciate it, could I show you some more ideas, please? Yeah, go for it. What's up, guys? Ugh. Not right now, Travis. Not right now? What do you mean? What's going on? So, this is a medic based here I made myself called Enigma. And this one I call... Hey, what's, what's this? Hey, give, give that back! Banana Man. Digiton. <laughs> Insecto. What kind of garbage is this? Travis, give it back to him now! F off my cry, this is priceless. What even is this for? The... They're... F for... Superhero stuff. Uh, I'm wanting to b be one. No way! You're wanting to be a superhero? <laughs> As if you're someone your size could take on criminals or hell, even against me. Wait! Don't! Travis, stop it! You're crying now? How pathetic are you? You know, being a hero takes strength. You want to be a hero just like in your baby drawings? Do something about it. Ralph, wait! Come back! 
You have a lot of nerve doing that, you jerk. Hey, the newbie needs some backbone. I say he deserved it. Frank, is Ralph gonna be all right? I think he's got a lot on his mind right now. So I have no idea. Banana Man? Ah, how adorable! A little wimp wants to be some fruit product superhero for his birthday. Is Ralph for real? There's no way he wants to be in a costume pretending to be Superman for a career. Oh wow, so edgy looking. I can tell you're really trying your best to be scary. You know, if there's anything I could do to fix this, it would be to toss it in the garbage and look for something better to do. You want to be a hero just like in your baby drawings? Do something about it! All my life, all I ever wanted was to be someone unique. Someone willing to take a risk. But I guess everyone, including your father, will look down on anything lonely and realistic. No, I'm not gonna let this happen again. Not again. I've had it. This time, you'll see what I'm capable of. All of them will. been two days, and he's still not back? No. I tried to knock on his front door, but there wasn't any reply. Even his father wasn't home. You know, if that asshole didn't rip up those drawings and make fun of Ralph, none of this would have happened. Right. And it was his first day at our school, too. I mean, who would even have the brains to do that? I'm just worried about him. The first time we met, he wasn't happy. He said he'd been made fun of before. So, he might be trapped in a deeper hole than he thought. He didn't want any of this. Yeah, agreed. What's going on? I don't know. I don't need someone like you to tell me what to do. Excuse me, but who's the hero here? Hero? <laughs> if only. Am I gonna be that, you swine? You have zero authority over me. So shut your mouth. What the? Oh no, this doesn't look good. Should we do something, Frank? Frank? Uh, please, l let me go. I, I, I can't breathe. People like you disgust me. You are a criminal. And you deserve no mercy! Ah! Tell me how the road tastes when your brain scrapped out a closet. Let me go, please. I I'm begging you. As you wish. <laughs> Thank you. You're the hero everyone has been talking about. It's a pleasure seeing you here. Uh, yeah. Name Sticky Guy. And what exactly are you doing? Oh, yes. Well, I was making sure that this criminal here had been taught a lesson. A lesson of justice! I'm not exactly sure if dropping into his death was by any means justice. What did he even do? He tried to steal that woman's purse. Actually, that criminal is my son. 
and he was only borrowing my purse so he could put his pills inside. I know what I saw! Y'all just make me look bad! I know you're trying to do good here, but all you're doing is causing harm. So you have to stop. But I just want to be like you. Don't you beat up criminals too? Being someone strong doesn't give you the right to beat people up. Listen, why don't you just take off the suit and we can walk away from this situation without any consequences? You just don't understand, do you? You won't understand. No, I understand completely. Just listen to- You're me. just like the rest of them. You're just as selfish and as antagonistic. Why did I even bother looking up to you? Listen to me. No! Alright, that hurt a lot. I think it's time your career cut short, because I'll, I'll be a better hero than you'll ever be, and you won't tell me otherwise. Nobody will! Oh god, I'm falling! Well, I better hope one of my powers is flying, because otherwise, I'm gonna be roadkill! No time like the present. We gotta do something, and we gotta do it fast! Holy crap! I did not know I could do that! Hey, you bug boy! Impressive. But I'm not finished with you. Oh damn. What? Ugh. Oh. You know, I did all I could to appease you. I thought you were someone greater, someone with authority. But I suppose not everyone is a hero who sees the good inside. Sorry, sticky guy. But it's time to pass your mantra to me. Put your hands in the air now. You hear me? Hands in the air. We'll continue this later. <coughs> You there, Cape and Mess, you're under arrest. Sorry, officer. Sticky guy's got an enemy to chase. Yeesh. What a day. Never thought in less than a week since I got my powers. I've received a few enemies. Frank, where have you been? Oh, so you're just gonna flat out ignore me now. Mom, please. I'm tired. Frank, you hardly even talk to me anymore. You hardly ever talk to your father, too. And we think it's time you started doing so. Your mother's right, Frank. You've been... going out and in pretty late. Your brother's even worried about you. Look at me, Frank. I want to see your face. What happened? It's nothing. Oh, really? That large bruise on your eye is nothing? Hey. Look, um... If you're trying to hide something from us, you're not doing a great job at it. So just tell us what's up, and we'll get off your shoulder, alright?
the number you dialed hasn't responded to your call. Please leave a message after the beep. Hey, Sally, uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to tell you something that I think you deserve to know. I told myself not to tell anyone, but I hope you understand this, but, uh, I'm, uh, I am... Um, I got to delivering that DVD to your house you left here the other week. Um, uh, there's nothing else. That's all I wanted to say. Bye. The internet has gone wild after seeing the events occur just mere hours ago, for there were reports of a superhero and a villain fighting on Alamo Street stick fiddle. As some of the folks down there who witnessed the fight described it as seeing an action scene from a movie coming to life. The hero, who had a black mask and had a purple cape, called themselves Sticky Guy, and the villain, whom of which terrorized locals and yet considered himself to be a hero, called himself Insecto. Police are investigating these unknown vigilantes in masks, for they believe they'll do more damage than good for the city. Jeez, what is this? Some superhero comic? Heroes and villains? Ha! Guess that pipsqueak in school got something right trending-wise. Or maybe this world really has gone mad. Or at the very least, it's been mad. Well then, I should try a little makeover, and maybe I could earn the recognition I so heartily deserve. Because God forbid I have it at all. Hey Ma, where's my luchador outfit? What luchador outfit? You mean the one from Halloween when you were 12? Y y y yeah uh, that one. I, I need it. Travis, you know you are too old to wear that outfit. It'll be too tight and right up your crotch. Y y yeah, I know, Ma. Thanks for the info. Can I, can I just have help finding it, please? Sure thing, sugar plum. I can just imagine it now. I'm gonna be the next big hero. I bet it could be stronger. Now that sticky man or whatever the hell his name was, and I could kick that insecto's ass too. If those guys could be strong and mighty, then why can't I? Wait a minute. That name Insecto, it sounds familiar. Here you go, honey. Thanks, Ma. Alrighty, Travis. Time to make a new identity for yourself. As the new hero of Steckville. <laughs> Welcome back, Ralph. Uh, Ralph? Frank, is he okay? I don't know. We walked together from the neighborhood, and he hasn't said a word to me. Even if I try to get him to talk. Ralph, calm down! For once in your life, Frank, just shut up! Right now I'm not in the mood! How come that isn't easy for you to get into your puny mind? Uh, look, Ralph, uh, I'm sorry. Just calm down. Sorry isn't gonna be enough, you- Well, now, that question of yours? I think he answered that one pretty clearly. Didn't think he could even do that. Ah, uh, well... So, class, who can tell me the title of the plan that General Scott had for his army to surround the South? Hint, hint, it almost rhymes with marijuana ban. No marijuana ban. No, Cheryl. After class, we're gonna have a talk. The title plan to plan? What? No, Chester. Biology isn't until your junior year. How do you even know what that word means? Anaconda plan. Yes, finally. A non-smart ass in this class. Nerd. Hey, where's... Travis? It is I, Travis Man. I'm here to take out any garbage this city has to throw at me. Travis, you're late. Again. 
Travis, man, is never late. You all are just too early. I'll sit down. Travis, what the actual hell are you wearing? My heroic outfit, of course. Why, a hero's gonna stand out somehow. Hold on just a minute. Are you seriously dressing up as a superhero just because of Sticky Guy? Sticky Guy? Ha! <laughs> as if. I bet that bozo couldn't even stand a chance against me. You are so much beyond wrong, it's unfathomable. I'm not even surprised to say this, but you are incredibly hypocritical. Yeah, just three days ago, you made fun of a certain someone that wanted to be a superhero and ripped his journal apart. What are you talking about? I wanted him to approve on something. Not like he had the strength to even become a hero. You know, it takes a crap ton more than just strength to be a hero. And it definitely takes a crap ton more than just wearing some flashy costume that someone's gonna look at and suddenly support. How would you know, coward? As if you got it in you. Maybe I don't. But I do know one thing. It's that if I ever become someone big someday, I'm not gonna take advantage like you do. You're no more than everyone here. Not even Ralph. You're garbage, Travis. And that's what people see you as. So if you want to be a hero, try to redeem yourself for once. What kind of copy pasta did you read that from? I don't know. I guess I wanted to get something off my chest. Hey, uh, Miss Grimm. Can I go to the bathroom? This is your last pasta this semester, but sure. that bastard even know? I mean, I got supporters. They see my costume. They see my strength. All that's left for me is to- Attention students and teachers, we are currently on intruder lockdown. This is not a drill. Lock your doors and follow the same procedures from your last drill. This is not a drill. We are currently on intruder lockdown. This Save is someone. Not a drill. Everyone to the back wall. We are the lady. We're on lockdown. God, I really hope we'll be all right. What do you think will happen, Frank? What? Where, where did he even go this time? <laughs> Child's play, I say. So, you're the insecto guy, right? That's me. Who are you then? The hero? <laughs> you bet. Name's Travis, man. Wait a minute. I know exactly who you are. You scum. Wait. What? Whoa. Sticky guy? Get out of here! Now! <coughs> oh, hello. I've been looking for you. And your first guest was at the school? Hey, you're here, Papa too. Ah, crap. It's time we- yeah. Hey guys, wait up. You know, I may be a hero, but I don't think I can fly like you guys can. <laughs> don't. Time for you to pay for your actions, you worm. Ah, ah, ah. 
Thanks, sticky guy. Please, for the love of God, don't mention it. Travis, stop! Come here, you slimy cockroach! Taste my formidable power, sticky guy! Hello, freak. You know, I'll give you this. You're determined. I really respect that. So I'll let you and your friend live for now. Why are you even doing all this? We have the opportunity to make sure we get certain people in the world what they deserve. Even if it's morally wrong, I'm not going to let the world fly by. Treating me like useless garbage. You're crazy. What makes you think anyone deserves any of this? Frank, there's one thing you need to understand between the two of us. Because I already know your situation. We're two different sides of the same coin. Only to be spent away by what the people want. They try to change us manipulate us just so they can earn what they believe they solely desire because we're below their sort of standard. I, for one, won't take it. I recommend you do the same. After all, someone told me to stand up for myself. You know that, right, Frank? No, it can't be you. You can't be. So I'm gonna give you a choice. Either let the power of hungry fools control who you are or what you want to be, or stand up and fight. We'll let you decide. But if you ever so heartily choose the wrong decision, they'll kill you. They'll kill your friend, Sally. I'll kill your brother. That's no threat, my friend. It's a promise. Hey, Mom, I, I think I'm ready to talk now. Really? You're ready to tell me why you come back home with bruises nearly every day? Alright, talk. So, I've been trying to climb this... this hill, right? It's really steep, but I want to climb it. Just so that not only I will get a good view of the fields, but just so that I'm capable of self-reliance. But I've been second-guessing after failing many, many times. And right now, I've given myself a choice. Either I forget ever trying to be someone independent, or push on and climb it. I 
At this point, I'm not even sure if I can decide what to do. So, I need your opinion. Frank, you're trying to climb a hill. All that so you can prove yourself? You don't need to, you know? Listen, the way I see it is that you can use as many fancy tools or even your bare hands to climb a steep hill. But just getting to the top won't do you any good. Sometimes you don't even have to prove yourself for doing anything. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut and focus on how you feel about your own worth. Because if you're not willing to take the risk, nobody will. Guys, come look at this real quick. We have reports on Snickville docks of the box suited entity in Sekdo, having 32 hostages trapped in a metal crate and is destroying anyone that tries to interfere or step in. And right now we have a live viewing of a helicopter with Sekdo flying around. Or well, quit shaking the camera, when you This is terrible. We need to head to the shelter that's in- What? Hey, where'd the tablecloth go? He's at the docks. Ugh. I have to stop Ralph. Yet. You need to stop this, Ralph. I know it's you under that mask. Then you know why I made you come here so easily, Frank. This crate contains 32 hostages. All of them will sink down to the waters below us. Eventually, there will be skeletons trapped in the bottom of the ocean. Now that you realize that I'm only doing this for the sake of our desires, to prove we're worth something to this world, it's finally time to make your decision. Save the scum that never believed in you in the first place. Or help your friend bring justice to the city once and for all. I'm sorry, Ralph, but this has to end. Worms you sided with have chosen death! And it's death you shall earn! Ralph, no! You saved us. Thank you, sticky guy. You really are an hero.
Did you even bother saving the people that shunned you? You hardly even know these fools, and yet you care for them. They hardly know us too. They don't take more or less of us. We're just like them. Why can't you see that? We can't be more than who we are, unless we make the best choices for everyone. I fought my way, trying to change myself, but all I needed was trusting my fate and taking a risk, and I did it. I took that risk. Not only am I going to be the person that's going to kick your ass, but I'm going to be the hero that's going to protect this city from people like you. You really do believe all that crap, do you? If you really are the hero you say you are, if you are going to defend your city with all you got, I will make sure to make this slow and painful for you. Ah! Stay away from him. Travis, you need to get out of here. But I... I know, and I appreciate you for it, but he's going to kill you. The last thing I want is anyone dying on my watch, even you. You want me to redeem myself, McCry? Let me help you. Everyone who thought I was stuck in my little world, dreaming, hoping one day that I heard a dying of respect. You were the only one who understood me. I mean, we may have only known each other for a week, but to me, it felt like I actually had a real friend alongside me. Maybe you can help me? I'll be better. I'll be so much better than I was before. If you could just give me a second chance. Please, Frank. You trust me. Don't you? Fine. I trust you. On one condition. If you're going to be better in the future, please stay that way when someone bails you out. Come on, Travis. What? Frank! You, you can't do this to me! If you leave me here, you'll be no more than the city! Whether you deny it or not, you abandon your own fate!
Hey Frank, wait up. Oh. Hey Travis. So, <laughs> a lot kinda happened yesterday, didn't it? How long have you known? Well, it was whenever you guys were talking, Ralph took off your mask, I saw, yada yada. Listen, you can't tell anyone about this. Like, at all. Yeah, yeah, I know. Besides, it's not like I'm interested in your sort of antics. Well, what about your whole Travis Man stick? Ah, right, about that. I think I'm gonna hang up the cape for poor old Travis Man. I mean, don't get me wrong, being a hero is cool and all, but man, is it hot. But I gotta say, I think you went through a ton this week. It almost makes me jealous about that, you know? Never thought I'd see someone like you take up the challenge, McCry. Uh, but hey, this doesn't change anything between the two of us, you got it, freak? Uh, yeah, right. Of course. I highly doubt that Travis was even gonna bully me anymore. And I was right. Since then, he decided to stop messing with me. And we kinda grew to be frenemies. Sally later found out the news behind Ralph. She was really sad about it, but she was at least glad I was safe. Though, I'm pretty sure if she knew who I was, I'm pretty sure she would freak out if she found out her own best friend was a superhero. Ralph's father was finally promoted as the co-CEO of Opal Tech, but he later found out about Ralph's arrest. He moved away from his house and decided to live somewhere near Opal Tech's building. I honestly feel really bad about it. For Ralph, he was prosecuted to have 10 years in Stickville Prison for the Unstable. To this day, I still wish for the best of him. But one thing's for sure, he wasn't going to be the only criminal in this city to face. I've taken a man over protecting this city no matter what. If aliens fall from the sky, if reality shatters, or if it all burns down, I'll be there to make the best I can. That day when I got hit by a meteorite, it basically changed my life forever. I didn't know what I wanted to be, but now that I'm finally brave enough to do what I wanted to do for the longest time, I can proudly say that I'm Frank McCry, the Stickman Superhero! Don't talk to me about living the dream. I keep on dreaming but I'm not sleeping sound. Don't talk to me about living on hand, that's when you're living on hand and be down. I feel like I must be losing my grip, clinging to memories but trying to be hip. All the other ways I should have gone instead, I could be a lawyer or a doctor or dead. It's a long time living, long before you're living it up. And every chance I'm It's a lot.